Welcome to part two of our vacation vlog at the Valentin Imperial Maya Resort in Mexico. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch part one, which is days one through three at this resort. My husband and I have been to the Valentin several times as a couple and we absolutely love it. In this vacation vlog, you will get to see some of our best friends that join us, Beth and Blake. If you are like me and you go straight to YouTube when you are researching a new resort, you've come to the right place because this vlog is going to be great to see all the different foods and drinks. I hope this video gives you a feel for the resort and I hope you enjoy vacationing with us. So with all that being said, let's get started with the vacation vlog. Look at all those mats, hun. It's like a treasure trove. <laughs> the mats have been in their prime real estate well, this trip. So now people are tucking them under their chairs. Yes to claim them Ooh. the way they claim chairs. Oh, I don't like that. I wish, since they're in a circle, that they would make all the gals line up around the edge of the pool and they blow a whistle and they make them race like, like musical Hunger chairs. Games. Hunger Games. Yeah. Hunger Games? Yeah. Pool float style. Yeah. Oh man, look at all these people working out. See, you can work out here if you also wish. <laughs> Okay, so apparently this is called the Black Iceberg. It's got the frozen espresso ice cubes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Very good. You want to pretend this is a breakfast food? No, we're going to put sprinkles on it and make you feel like you're eating birthday cake for breakfast. <laughs> I swear, all these drinks are so sweet and they are so white you know how like when you get your Starbucks drink you can already tell like if it's gonna be good or not based on like the color of the drink well this is my iced iceberg or black iceberg after I've added an, an additional um, espresso shot to it so that's better right but I'm gonna add a, a third no a second one we'll see if we can get this color right this is for all my other like non-sweet drinking coffee people. I'm doing the research for you so you don't have to. Let's see. Yes. See? That's the right color. So get a black iceberg with two shots of espresso on the side that you can add your own. Look at that. Now that's good. Alright, this is our first time this trip at La Marche Lunch Buffet. Um, we're doing lunch here, and it appears to me that it's kind of like Italian themed. Almost. Wouldn't you say? There's like, a lot more, yeah. I wonder if they do different like themes. But um, so far, we've had a. This is plate number two, but Holt got like a custom. You know how they have like the omelet guy? Well, they've got the pasta guy today. It's, they had a pre-made meat sauce, but I, before that, they like sauteed some onions, zucchini, and tomatoes for me. It looks so really good. Up, yeah, I'm excited. Um, this is plate number two for me, but the pizza is decent. It doesn't look decent, but yeah. it's surprisingly super tasty. I had uh, the caprese salad, which was delicious, and then I already ate it all, but I had two whole things of mushroom risotto, and that was really good. And of course, you can always have some guacamole. They understand the drinkers uh, need the <laughs> carbo car load. <laughs> yeah. We're running a marathon. <laughs> like, <laughs> reminds me of the episode of The Office. Where he's like, I had, what did Michael Scott have before the fun run? <laughs> Alfredo, like fettuccine, <laughs> fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Carbolone, baby. Oh, Trace! <laughs> Thank you. Couples always win. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by boner? Bon bonier. 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 The ones with the bones sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> Fit check night. Is this night four? This dress I've worn so many times to so many Mexico vacations, it's but it's just a good, it's a good dress. What are you wearing, honey? 
I have a shirt and a pants. <laughs> <laughs> we are going. Pretty standard. This is the last night of our solo vacation. Tomorrow, our friends join us from Missouri. They're flying in, and we're going to be with them the rest of the trip. But we're going to probably double up on sushi tonight because yep. that's our favorite. Uh, the Michael Jackson show is on Tuesday night, so we're going to hit that up for sure. And Imperial Band is playing, so yep. hopefully we'll get to dance. And then we're going to do Don Miguel's again because I it, forgot. No I mean, I didn't forget, but like the, those are the best drinks yep. here at the resort. Yep. Don Miguel's is where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, we just stepped out of our rooms and heard the rain, which it has been a little rain. It's been a little bit of a rainy past couple days, but they've got umbrellas in the room. And don't you fear, even if it starts raining, they have a plan for Imperial Band. They stick it. Um, they call it the Martini Bar, but. I think it's hard for people to know where that is. It's basically up by the lobby. Like when you get dropped off by your transfers, you walk close to the martini bar when you're going into the lobby. And they, they have a really good drink there. If you um, like semi-sweet drinks, it's one of my favorite drinks of this entire resort. It's called the Almond Cinnamon Martini. And it's very good. And I'll probably have one of those tonight. Because <laughs> I guarantee you they're not gonna have the dancing in the plaza with the wet floor. Cucumber martini. And then Holt got... Something viejo. Rancho, Rancho viejo. viejo. It's like uh, Kahlua and tequila? I think it's just tea. <laughs> yeah, just Long Island iced tea. This cucumber martini, I think just went into my new top three. It's very refreshing. Really good. Yeah. Almond, cinnamon, cucumber martini, and then probably the cotton candy mojito. Yep. Top three, man. I'm gonna get this again for sure. Yeah. So, what just would to explain that would just? Well, it's we had been waiting probably 40, maybe 40 minutes. Outside. Yeah. And it was getting close, but we hadn't had our little thingy ring off yet, and I was like, well, Michael Jackson show starts at nine, so we do need to kind of go there. So we just went over there and said, we're just checking. Like I told Paul, I was like, should we just say like, oh my, we felt it was. Like, I don't know. But um, that the key is to be nice to the hostess and, <laughs> and get a smile. Yeah, we got to take it here. I think we jumped the line just a little bit. But it's raining. If it's raining, just know you're going to wait for supper. Because yeah. they lose like half their table. Like Italian, they've got like 15 tables they can't seat anymore. Right. So everyone, it gets backed up. Yeah. The shrimp fried rice. So good. This is it's the, so good. This is the ginger roll after I've demolished half of it already. Yeah, this is like the, like the appetizer. Honestly, Holt didn't order a main course. I don't think this is gonna be enough food for you. I think I'll, I'll be fine. I'll help you with the rice. Yeah. Uh, do not be this. <laughs> Okay, Holt. Recap. Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson very good. Primo. Primo yeah. entertainment. Yeah. He looks like Michael Jackson. Yeah. He's intense. The, all the dancers were so good. It really is, like, out of all the stuff, I think it's the best. Yeah. ordered a green juice the first time vitamin, in this vitamin injection. yeah the sun is out it was I don't think we saw the sun at all yesterday Beth and Blake are on their way they're probably in the plane right now this was recommended to us from a uh, lady what was her name I think Naomi we talked to her at the Golden Pool she said I had to get this so I'm gonna try it for that being yogurt <laughs> it's really good yeah I'm gonna have you try this too. Well, it's got like coconut flakes in it, and then oh, that sounds like, good. This is like chunks of like apple, maybe. Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah. 
Okay. So I'm doing Naomi. I've been thinking about French toast for a while. Oh, that looks good. They put little fruits on the corner too. I didn't ask for that, but I, I'm excited. And Holt, of course, is getting his favorite. Divorced eggs. Divorced eggs. <laughs> so yummy. Thank you so much. Okay, we're in a spot by the pool. This is the main party pool area with this, is this called the Earth Bar? I think it's the Earth Bar. And that one's kind of the route, I would say the rowdier. Um, pool, this is where they do all the activities here. It's 10.30 and we just snagged the very last like semi-shaded spots by the entire pool. Like the pool is massive and but there are not a ton of shaded chairs and this is like partial shade. All of the, all of the spots like within the pool, like all of those chairs were already taken. <laughs> she called me Mr. Bumba. My friend, you're here at noon, and so we kept on looking at the time. I was like, okay, at noon, I'm gonna go check we my phone. At 10. And then it, I said 11:13. Yeah, you texted us. I know, and I thought we're on said, our way. And you said, let us know when you're in the lobby. And we texted you. And no one showed up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We, we have our room already. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Mike. Welcome. I wanted to pop in and talk about the pools. The Valentin Imperial Maya is most known for its amazing pools. The main pool starts closer to the quiet silver pool and goes all the way down past the two pool bars and the beautiful waterfall closer to the beach and Mar and Tiara restaurant. It's a really social, active pool. People start going out into the pools as early as like 9 a.m., but things really start get going socially around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. for different pool activities like pool Zumba and water biking. Now, if socializing is not what you booked this vacation for, don't you worry. The golden swim up pools are much quieter, like a lazy river type thing and you can get a quiet spot under a cabana or you can go to the beach where you can read a book and drink a cocktail without having to socialize. But if you are a social butterfly, the party pool is where it's at. It's got a lot of fun activities in the afternoons as well. For example, the famous foam party is on Sundays at 3 p.m. They also do bull riding, which is really, really fun. And they also do like different couples games. It's just a really fun vibe here. One last thing I urge you, even if you're shy, try one round of pool volleyball. They do this every single day and it is seriously one of our favorite pool activities. So much fun. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Is that not delicious? Mm -hmm. I like the way it, it screams in my mouth. <laughs> Here's what we look like. Me and Beth got ready together, and then the boys have. We just picked them up from the hookah. Yep. The hookah. The hookah. Or we're going down to Mar and Tiara tonight. Say goodbye to this red dress. She's she's not practical. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna switch it out. <laughs> Beth is trying her very first churro. I'm glad that she's finally here. Okay, the ladies like got dope. vegetable soup. Is it good? And the boys got seafood. Think, like, how's your soup? Ooh, that is seafoody. <laughs> is it fishy? In a good way. Thank you. That looks great. Halibut? Lots of meat eating in this video. <laughs> okay. 
It looks <laughs> everyone liked it. <laughs> um, okay, let's rank them. The all of those dishes. Which one was the best? The soup. I think that was pretty good. I like the tuna. Yeah. The swordfish, I, that was my first time with swordfish. That was good. Yeah, let's do desserts here and then we could go get Don Miguel's. Oh, you get a fancy one too, Blake. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Thank you. Split. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> so gross. Can you actually, what, can, if you inhale dry ice, is that bad for you? Yeah, it's like smoking a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it's nitrogen. Do you feel uh, nitronated? <laughs> it's actually, it's not nitrogen, it's carbon dioxide. Holt, how's the cucumber martini? Really it's a little cucumber forward. Is it? Like this one? Yeah. The chocolate martini is not chocolatey? I mean, I don't know that that's a chocolate chocolate. martini. No. We need to pull that up because he said, "Do you want the chocolate martini, the normal one, or do you want the one on the on the menu?" And we said the menu. What restaurant experience are you most looking forward to on this vacation? Commentary. Commentary. Do you plan on dancing tonight? Uh, under duress, I will. <laughs> Boys, you gonna break it down tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you missed it, dummy! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Guacamole is a shot of fire. <laughs> <laughs> en fuego. That's the way they do it in Mexico. That's the best guacamole in the whole. Yeah. <laughs> this one's the spicy level three, and my gosh. That's muy picante. My my lips are on fire. Good, but spicy. Good. That was fun. Yeah. Do the guacamole taste here. I think this was at 11, right? Was it 11? 11, 11 at the Earth Bar, which is near the party pool area. Very good. So we're out, we're walking to go pick up Beth and Blake for the night. I look really good, by the way. Look at my pretty dress. But we keep seeing bats, and I was trying to get it on camera, but I don't think it's, don't think it's gonna pick up. But there, there are bats at night. That, it's gotta be bats, right? The moon's out, it's looking good. Did, are you here to pick someone else up or can we hitch a ride? Oh yay, thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to pick up our friends at Building One. Look at us. We are looking cute. Look at Beth, Beth what, where did you get this dress? Windsor, where I get all my dresses. It's cute. We, my shiny uh, matches your shiny. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Something's happening. <laughs> Something's happening out here. Oh. Looks like food, like a buffet and live music. Yeah. A little bit longer. It's our latest latest dinner around close yeah. to nine o'clock, right? Yeah. We're crowded this week though. Like, yeah. We've had to wait for every table. But yeah. it's nice because you're in Mexico. If you get to like listen to this. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's more. The panizella, panizella, I think. It's like a veggie salad. Well, specifically, it's got this like cheese on it. The world seems to shine like you've had too much wine. That's all I got lasagna bolognese. This is the shrimp risotto. Brit is the braised rib. <laughs> Hi, I'm Holt, and I got the braised rib. <laughs> you can tell it's lasagna because of the way it is. <laughs> Recap on Italian. It was all amazing. What was your guys' My lasagna was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> what was your guys' favorite part of the entire meal? Like what was your favorite part? Soup was great. Bread was great. The Holt's beef was really good. Uh, the sweet potatoes on that were super good. Beth's mashed potatoes, so good. My lasagna was awesome. <laughs> What was your thing called again, Blake, for real? Uh, fruity de mare. Is it just like seafood? seafood? Like clams and stuff? Yeah, fruit of the sea. Nice. Fruity de mare. Nice. And this restaurant, they did such a good job with the uh, <laughs> the remodel. It looks really good. I really like the way these boots are. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very comfy. Yes. You could probably fit like eight people in here. Um, but yeah, it's been a really awesome meal. Um, I think this is one of the best uh, trips for food yeah. we've had. A big redemption for the Italian restaurant. Yeah, never, like, yeah, this, this was never. Dislike it, but it yeah, this was our probably our least favorite restaurant. That and the Mexican, but but this uh, trip, like the Mexican that we went a couple nights ago, was so good too. So good job, Valentin. You're killing it. In every life we have some trouble But when you worry you make it double Don't worry Be happy
Like, what do you have? Oh, I have air. It's <laughs> really good air. <laughs> we are not complaining. There's no complaining on vacation. But we are enjoying, no, we are enjoying. Ashley's life, in case anyone's wondering, is like this. It always just works out for me. It always works out for Ashley. Sun shines. For context, Beth and Blake are leaving a partially flooded house uh, to go come on this vacation. And Ashley got her pancakes 15 minutes before anyone else got their food. So it's just kind of a small example of how life works. My mission is to retrieve two rafts. We gotta sneak up on them so they don't run away. They're very skittish creatures. All right, they haven't seen us yet. We're gonna have to go under. Together. They've got two pool trucks. I think they're nearly identical. And they're doing pool Zuma right now, so they got the good music going. There they go. To go find some friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is kind of cold getting in, isn't it? Well, I think Blake's team won two to one, right? Yeah. yeah, we won the last yeah, match. Won the last one. And I was pleasantly surprised with Beth's volleyball skills. She was not yeah. bad. Was not. Beth, not were you bad? pleasantly surprised? <laughs> you knew exactly what you would... I'm, I'm great at a lot of things, but volleyball is not She worse. was not bad at all. I was yeah. a liability. She hit, no, you hit a lot of them. Yeah, I was big old... Big... <laughs> Giorgio Armani. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> Listen, you've seen plenty of dead cats. Just do that. Try like limp in the water. You know what I mean? Like. Go, go, Chanel. Yeah, we just take it. Life is inspired by Gucci. That was perfect. Dulce and Gabbana. It's last night. Last dance, last chance. Is that how last night for you? Last night. We're going to Tom and Sari. We look very complimentary to each other. Yes. Sparkles in deep, deep purple. I don't think I've ever had a dress like that, but I kind of want to get one now because that's yeah. a really good, I it's like a really it. good color. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to match really good with the aesthetic of Tom and Sari because it's very colorful and pretty. Vibrant. Yes, vibrant is a good word for it. We are gonna go Let's see how long as long as we can tonight. This is Holt and I's last night, so we're gonna try to do Imperial Band. Um, the circus show is happening tonight. <laughs> Beth's not a fan of the like of the stuff. shows, but I think we'll, Holt and I will try to like peek yeah, in for a little bit. Uh, what food are you most excited about eating tonight? Spring rolls, and I am gonna get Blake's gonna get the Vindaloo, and I'm gonna get curry. Mm, that they have yellow and green curry. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I had yellow curry earlier this week. It was very good, so I may get the green. And if you want to get yellow, you could was try it both. Super spicy? No, I like a little bit of spice, but it not was a lot. actually it wasn't spicy at all. Okay, but I bet we could ask them. Yeah, we could say, true. can you give a little bit of heat? Yeah. I bet we could. Open. Do you push or pull? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm, yes, our last night.
right, thank you. I got the shrimp or uh, beat me what beat me spring roll. <laughs> Blake, did you get the same thing? Did you get this? Okay. And then what did you get, Beth? Chicken satay. She's eating it right now. Mm -hmm. That's what that looks like. And then Holt got the, the spinach sag curry. Uh, there you go. <laughs> me and Beth asked to split the pad thai, so they eat. They gave us both our own pad thai. <laughs> they say, hey, ladies, it's all inclusive. You get your own. Blake, what did you get for this round? Lamb vindaloo. Ooh. Yeah, that's oh, you already got your entree? entree? Yeah. Oh, really? And it's okay because I was going to split the duck. Okay. Good. And what did you get? Uh, I got an eggplant pancake. So oh. the top is a pancake. And I want to zoom in so I can get the texture on that. It's like an eggplant. Um, yeah. That does it's really look like cool. a pancake. It's really cool, yeah. The duck. They recommend to dump it all out on the plate and mix together with the rice. I mean, you like it? Super good. How's yours, Beth? I'm trying good. to get through it. It's mm -hmm. a meat problem, not a bit. <laughs> Alright, one last churro. Churro time. One last churro. Can I get one of each, por favor? Yes. Gracias. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. What's the Adam pose? Yeah. Go. <laughs> That's a That's money good. shot. Yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> My favorite spot is pictures in the plaza with the pretty palm tree. As we're nearing the end of this vlog, I wanted to play little clips throughout the whole entire night of the Imperial Band plus the DJ night. I feel like this will be a really good way to kind of feel out how the vibes of the night go. Like 
Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy.